A Year Full of Holidays by Susan Middleton Elia, illustrated by Diana Kane Blutherthal. Blutherthal, A Year Full of Holidays. When Nell had her birthday, her whole house was buzzing with family and neighbors and friends by the dozen. I love all my presents at look and look at this cake. I have a good wish that I can't wait to make. That night, she asked, when'll my birthday come back? The holidays, said mom, will help you keep track. There's one every month, except sometimes there's two. They'll help you pass the time between birthdays for you. And right here it says August. A whole week went by. Nell needed to know. Was a holiday coming? Time's moving so slow. You're home on a Monday. Labor Day, her dad said when workers can rest and sleep late in bed. But we're wide awake, so what can we do? Her dad lit the coals, have a big barbecue. September, Labor Day is in September. The first day of school, she said to her friend, I hope there's more fun and the holidays won't end. That's silly, said Tommy. The best day I've seen is coming next month, and it's called Halloween. When Nell got dressed up trick-or-treating round town, she saw gobs of witches, six ghosts, and a clown. With her treat bag in tow, she exclaimed, This is living. There's more, Tommy added. Just wait till... Thanksgiving. So Halloween's in October. Now it says November. Then four Thursdays later, she smelled grandma's pies, fresh ap apple and pumpkin and mincemeat surprise. The next day, her family went down to the mall they needed to park, but found no spots at all. When finally they swarmed through the big bustling crowd, Christmas is coming, Nell shouted too loud. And then the day, next month, as she counted each day, young Nell had her mind on a man in a sleigh. She hung up the stockings, left cookies and milk, then wished for some toys and a kitten like silk. Christmas is in December. Next month is January. Then one week later, a holiday at night. I have to skip bedtime, her dad said. All right. She drank juice so bubbly at ate New Year's spaghetti, then threw shiny streamers and colored confetti. Then six long weeks passed. Now what could be coming? Her mom fixed her hairdo and went around humming. She handed her paper and scissors and lace. Nell glued decorations all over the place. A day filled with kisses and a flower bouquet and candy with words all for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is in February. And then one March morning when winter was old, St. Patrick's Day danced in with rainbows and gold. So Nell dressed in green, drew some fat Irish clover, and asked, may I please have some leprechauns over? Leprechauns Day. St. Patrick's Day is in 
March. A few weeks later, Nell said, Mom, it's funny. I remember a day with a gift-giving bunny. She helped dye some eggs, her family's spring habit, and left out her basket for a sneaky old rabbit. As she munched Easter candy and picked off pink grass, she asked the new kid in her story time class, which holiday's next? I hope there's another. Of course, said the girl. It's a day for your mother. So April is usually Easter and Mother's Day is in May. It's Mother's Day Sunday. She picked a corsage and made a big card for a free Nell massage. In place of mom cooking, Nell did it instead. She loaded the tray, served her breakfast in bed. Is, is only one holiday happening in May? No, father said. There's Memorial Day. So Mother's Day and Memorial Day are in May. They hung up their flag. Some f fighter jets flew. Then honored Nell's grandpa with red, white, and blue. He showed Nell some medals he earned in the war. They're so shiny, she said. Do you have any more? In June, her mom said, Father's Day comes up next. So Nell drew a picture with Dad's muscles flexed. She got out a bucket, said, Stay where you are, while Dad read the paper. She washed his whole car. Father's Day is in June. Next, a parade on the 4th of July. She liked all the fire trucks and floats that went by. When Father said, sit down now, she said, in a minute. Instead of just watching, she tried to be in it. Later, her family hiked up to the park. The fireworks display began after dark. Fourth of July is in July. Now we're back in August. In August, they camped for a very fun week on pine tree, of pine trees and fireflies and baths in the creek. And finally, her birthday, what wish would she make? She took a deep breath and blew out her cake. I wish time went faster and the holidays came quicker, that the presents were bigger and the frosting was thicker. It, was, it wasn't too long before one part came true. They all stayed home Monday for a big barbecue. So they're in September on Labor Day again. And there's a year full of holidays.